So a few people have asked how I'll get the um, Zwift to work with the Kaiser M3i bike. So here's just a very quick video to show you how I did it. Um, first of all, we've got a monitor stand uh, or TV stand. This is actually a TV. Um, just to show you the height. This particular one I got off of Amazon. The height is 1.3 meters to the very top. Um, 1.2 sort of roughly there. Um, may not sound a lot, but that's actually ideal for the bike because you'll see when I come around later. Um, because you're actually looking down on the screen rather than across it. Um, also a must have is the Kaiser M3i converter. Um, this converts all the data into apps such as Strava etc. And um, I'm using an iPad um, just for the sake of this but you can use it with an iPhone as well and um, probably work with Android that I don't know but I'm sure it will. Um, and also a Roku, this is a Roku Premiere device um, which allows me to um, stream the video uh, from the iPad, the Swift from the iPad into the screen and it all connects up. I'm also wearing a Polar M10 heart uh, monitor uh, chest strap um, which I've already installed. Not a necessity but it's always handy to show the effort you're putting into the workouts. So this is the basic setup. So this doesn't need to be attached to the bike, it can just be placed on the side. Um, I've also removed the Kaiser M3i media tray, it just slops out the handlebars because that proves a bit of a, an obstructed view when looking at the mon at the screen. Um, so first of all we come around and when you fire up the Rocky device this is what you see. So first things first you need to mirror your iPad or iPhone uh, to the Rocky device. It's the same principle in every manner you just press screen mirroring. It will detect your Rocky, select Rocky, it connects, airplay comes up on there. It's easy than that. So just touch her there, it then disappears. And on here we have Zwift. So I touch Zwift. And straight away, Zwift is up on the screen. So this is a good device. You really need to keep this beside you because when you get power ups um, on Zwift, you need to be able to touch screen the power up. Um, obviously you can't touch screen the screen. So I tend to run that beside me on, a, on somewhere like that. So, get on the bike. Now as you can see from here, the viewing angle on the Zwift, you're actually looking down at the screen. There's so many videos I see where you're actually looking up. So that'll give you quite a stiff neck. So this is actually a very good angle. So when you're down or you're like this, you're actually not having to um, cause any effort in your uh, neck to watch what's going on. Uh, so once you've logged into Swift, you've put all your settings in, uh, you, you've messed around with what you need to do and so on and so forth. You then go onto your screen here, you then touch your name, which is the account I've created, my name. Click, obviously it mirrors onto there exactly in time. Let it log in. So there we are, you select power, you select power source, you have to be quick there, but it, I'll, um, I'll just show you that again in case you missed it. because I've already logged this in. So Zwift comes up. So you'll see two options, two um, buttons to press power source or something else. You always press power source, but because it's already found my devices, it goes straight into it. Power source, okay. Highlighted blue, so it's connected to the Kaiser bike. On the first connection, you actually have to just pedal a little bit and then it finds it. Um, it's also found my heart rate monitor as well, it showed. So then you've basically got your options there. Um, I'll just go into um, Autopia, which is the most popular ride, uh, and then just click ride. Obviously there's lots of settings you can do, but I'll just click ride. It's come up on the screen, I'll put this beside me. And as you can see, as I start pedaling, my rider picks up. All the data from the Kaiser is going via the converter into the screen. So I'm currently pedaling at, you can see my wattage power, the RPM I'm pedaling at, and also the heart rate, which is coming off my Polar M10, which is attached to me now. And this is data sort of mirroring off what your Kaiser computer here is saying. It also shows a gradient there. Now, this is quite an important part because obviously the Kaiser bike, unlike the Zwift ones, don't automatically adjust the gradient for you. 
as in automatically put the effort on the bike, so you have to do that yourself. So you can see at minus two, you're on a fairly relatively easy slide. So you can either drop the gear down to match. This is what I like about the cars with the gear levers up here, so it's very easy to do rather than have to fumble down here for a knob. Um, so we're on a level incline zero. So you can then just get pedaling away. Depending on how powerful you are, I'm just doing this in jeans to give you an idea. That incline changes, and as that incline will change as you go up a hill, uh, you just keep going until it goes up one. I don't know how long that's going to take. Okay, right, so this is a basic flat. There will be an incline there later, trust me. And then my rule of thumb, it can be different to anyone, um, but I tend to find that a 2% um, a incline for me would be a good on here, on the Kaiser bike here. 2% would make a good gear 12, a 13% gear 13, 14 um, an incline of 4%, 16 gear is a good one for a 6% incline and so on and so forth. That's just my preference, you can change all yours. So you'll notice on Kaiser, uh, on uh, Swift, I've got a power up already which is an aero boost. Now obviously I can't touch that screen, so this is why you need your device beside you, where you can just touch your power ups. And all that will do, obviously I'm not going to try, but it just gives you a boost behind the rider. You can see my incline to come up to 1%. Obviously it's up to you, the rider, to change the effort or your gears to match that. If you don't change your gears, if you keep, think well, I'm just going to go in an easy gear, then you'll find your rider will just get slower and slower and slower. So you do need to do that. Basically that's everything there is uh, to show you on how my setup works on, uh, on the bike.